chord is really a whole tone chord, but you might want to think of it as F sharp 9 with a flattened fifth. F sharp, A sharp, C natural, and G sharp. So you might think of this as the whole tone scale. The first part of this line originally went like this. So I'm playing F sharp and then the augmented triad of C. C, E, G sharp. So you have this flat five here this flat five going into an augmented triad which fits this whole tone scale. But I've changed it because I thought that was a little bit too predictable. So I'm playing it this way. F sharp, C natural, E, which all fit the chord, and then I'm going to the other whole tone scale, so I have this A natural open string. So. And this next part will change the rhythm again. It will offset the rhythm, a bit like chord pairs, because it's A flat major seven over D natural. So we have four notes, five notes. Now the D is not in the chord, so that's from the other whole tone scale. And then we have the A flat, which is in the chord, the C, which is in the chord, and the E flat, which is not in the chord or the scale. Next we have the G, which is in the other whole tone scale as well. Which then moves to a second inversion F sharp triad, to the F sharp in the chord, the A sharp in the chord, and then it moves up to the D to make this augmented or an augmented um, arpeggio and we have the D natural, which is in the scale. So we have Now what happens next is a change of register in order to create interest. So from here we have a resolution, resolving to the A sharp, which is in the chord, and the D, which is in the scale. And this D is played so that it lands on a down stroke, which means I can play the upstroke for the next part easily, which is just a whole tone scale or whole tones of that whole tone scale, which fits the chord. Now this then has an F minor with a flattened ninth arpeggio. So we have the F, which is not in the scale or the chord. A flat or G sharp, which is, C, which is in the chord, and F sharp, which is in the chord. So we have Okay, now for the last part. Again, we change to the lower register with the same fingering as before. Landing on that F sharp, which is in the chord, for the upstroke for the next piece of scale. Three notes from the other whole tone scale, which goes to C in the chord and the G resolves down to the F sharp. Basically, this is a C minor arpeggio that resolves down to the F sharp and finishes with the G sharp. So we have and finally we have a D7 arpeggio. So slowly we have
in jazz, the chromaticism generally resolves, like uh, target tones. Or even um, sidestepping. With this, it's more angular, disjointed and disruptive. It takes the ear somewhere where the ear thinks there will be some sort of resolution and then something else happens. And that's in the notation and in the rhythm. Although this is Fripp-esque, this style is also akin to Dave Liebman and even George Garzoni to some degree. Anyway, if this video was of any use to you, then please smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, click the notification button, write a comment in the comment section, and I'll see you all in the next video. And thank you for watching.